Carter Baines here with BeaverBlitz.com, just days ahead of Oregon State's 2023 spring camp, and there's a few things we're going to be watching on the practice fields come Tuesday, March 7th. First of all, the DJ Uyunglele factor. Of course, the former Clemson quarterback transferring into Oregon State this December, arriving on campus in January. This will be our first chance to see him in a Beaver uniform. We know that he has the tools as a former five-star recruit out of high school, but how do they stand out from the rest of the quarterbacks with Ben Goldbranson coming back, Aiden Childs now in the mix? Uh, we want to see if there's clear potential for him to take the offense to the next level in his first year at Oregon State. And then the intangibles, how much leadership does he bring to the team? That's one of those things that we get an opportunity to see at practice and something that will correlate to the season when it rolls around in September. Second of all, we've got our eyes on the early enrollees who are on campus as of January. Recruiting took a step forward this year in year five of the Jonathan Smith era. But how does that translate to on-field success? Some of the top signees are here on campus. Aiden Childs, Kelsey Howard. How are the four stars looking? What are they going to bring to the mix in their first years? That's going to be a hot topic in Corvallis this spring. And then also three of the four wide receivers have arrived as well. We know that a couple of them have the opportunity to play right away, but who could that be? Montrell Hatton Jr., Tasty and Reddix, and Zachary Card are all here in Corvallis. We're going to have our eyes on them this spring as well. And then lastly, Oregon State's potential ability to replace key defensive starters. They lose six starters on the defensive side of the ball, of course, from a unit that was among the best in the Pac-12 last year with Alex Austin, Rajon Wright, Jaden Grant, Omar Spates, Kyrie Fisher-Morris, and Simon Sandberg gone. Who steps up in their absence? Could it be some backups? Jaden Robinson, Skylar Thomas, uh, Easton, Mascarenas, Easton Mascarenas Arnold, who have been here for a couple of years. Are they ready to take that leap? Or is Oregon State going to rely on some newcomers like Olu Omatosho, Mason Tufaga, Nico Taylor, and Tyrese Ivey, who are coming in from the transfer portal and junior college ranks? Those are the three things that we are watching when Oregon State takes the field for spring camp, which is, again, just days away now in Corvallis.